Welcome back to the Awesome Possum Classroom. This is week nine, lesson five of the daily kindergarten phonics. Rhyme time. A rhyme is a repeated sound in two or more words like the at sound in cat, hat, and bat. Say dug, rug. Do you hear the ug sound in dug and rug? Dug and rug rhyme. All right. Which word rhymes with mad? Mit or had? Had. Good job. Which word rhymes with duck? Stuck or stick? Stuck. Duck. Stuck. Good job. Which word rhymes with sit? Sat or hit? Hit, sit, hit. Which word rhymes with clock? Dock or duck? Dock, clock, dock. Which word rhymes with hop? Hope or mop? Mop, hop, mop. Good job. Now let's listen for the first sound in words, beginning sounds. Listen for the first sound in the word. Say dive. What sound do you hear at the beginning of dive? Say the sound, not the letter. Duh. Very good. Listen to the words. What is the first sound you hear? Poster. P rooster. Er, elephant. Eh, lion. Ul, vote. V, good job. Now let's blend to make words. Blending to make words means we put parts of a word together to make a word. B, us, bus. Do you hear the two parts in bus? B, us. Repeat after me. B, us. Bus. Good job. I will say two parts of a word. Say the parts back and then blend them together to make one word. Repeat after me. D, ek. What word does that make? Deck. Repeat after me, and. What word does that make? Hand. Repeat after me, b, and. What word does that make? Band. Repeat after me, m, at. What word does that make? Mat. Repeat after me. M aus. What word does that make? Mouse. Great job. All right, now let's listen for the last sound we hear in a word, ending sounds. Say rabbit. What sound do you hear at the end of rabbit? Say the sound, not the letter. T. Good job. All right. What sound do you hear at the end of pear? R. What sound do you hear at the end of crab? B. What sound do you hear at the end of drum? M. What sound do you hear at the end of plug? G. What sound do you hear at the end of tin? N. Very good. All right. More practice on segmenting. Segmenting means listening to the whole word and then breaking it down into smaller parts. Now, we will break words down into two parts. Foot. 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 Do you hear the two parts in foot? Foot. Repeat after me. Foot. Foot. 
foot. All right, let's practice breaking words into two parts. I will say a word. Say the word back to me and chop it into two parts, the first sound and the rest of the word. Repeat after me, cone. Break that down into two parts. Own. Repeat after me. Kite. Break that word down into two parts. Kite. Good job. Repeat after me. Tub. Break that word down into two parts. Tub. Good job. Repeat after me. Open. Break that word down into two parts. Open. Good job. Repeat after me. Fox. Break that word down into two parts. F ox. Good job. Now, let's add to the beginning of a word. We can change sounds at the beginning of a word to make a new word, all right? Say, ug. Add er at the beginning, and the word is rug. Say, app. Add k to the beginning. What is the word? Cap. Say, app. Add t to the beginning, and the word is tap. Say app. Add m mm to the beginning, and the word is map. Say app. Add n mm to the beginning, and the word is nap. Say app. Add er to the beginning, and the word is rap. Now let's take away a sound. We can take away a sound from a word and say what is left. Say chin. Without ch, what is left? In. Good job. Say cap. Without k, what is left? App. Say tap. Without t, what is left? App. Say map. Without m, what is left? App. Say nap. Without n, what is left? App. Say rap. Without er, what is left? App. Good job. All right, changing sounds. We can change a sound to make a new word. Say sat. Change s to f, and the word is fat. All right, say sap. Change s to l, and the word is lap. Say lap. Change all to z, and the word is zap. Say zap. Change z to m, and the word is map. Say map. Change m to t, and the word is tap. Say tap. Change t to n, and the word is nap. Good job. Let's learn the alphabet. We can learn letter names and letter sounds. Each letter has a name and a sound. I will ask you the letter and then the sound the letter makes. Are you ready? Let's go. What is the letter? F. What is the sound? F. 
What is the letter H? What is the sound? <sighs> what is the letter C? What is the sound? K. What is the letter B? What is the sound? B. What is the letter D? What is the sound? D. What is the letter G? What is the sound? G. What is the letter L? What is the sound? L. What is the letter A? What is the sound? A. What is the letter? V. What is the sound? V. What is the letter? I. What is the sound? I. What is the letter? K. What is the sound? K. What is the letter? P. What is the sound? P. What is the letter? E. What is the sound? E. What is the letter? N. What is the sound? N. What is the letter? J. What is the sound? J. What is the letter? Q. What is the sound? Qua. What is the letter? R. What is the sound? Er. What is the letter? S. What is the sound? S. What is the letter? U. What is the sound? A. Uh. What is the letter? M. What is the sound? M. Mm. What is the letter? O. What is the sound? Ah. What is the letter? Z. What is the sound? Z. What is the letter? W. What is the sound? W. What is the letter? X. What is the sound? X. What is the letter? T. What is the sound? T. What is the letter? Y. What is the sound? Y. Sight word practice. On each slide, there will be a sight word. You will have three seconds to say the sight word before we move to the next word. Has. Was. A. R and the 
is his. Now it's time to work with nursery rhymes with your teacher. Your teacher will say a line. You will say the line and clap the number of words in the line. Count how many words are in each line. Circle the sight words. Count the syllables in the words and underline the rhyming words. Teachers, pause the video so that you can do this activity with your class. Thank you for working along with the Awesome Possum Classroom. See you tomorrow.